I want to issue a challenge. We're going to test this out here. I want to see if I can push press or shoulder press this thing. And so at Adam LZ is what I'm going to do. I'm going to set my alarm and every hour on the hour, I'm going to do 10. Let's see if I can even do one. Let's see. <laughs> we should put the scale on this thing. I think it's 80 pounds. Everybody with 1122s or anybody who gets an 1122, you can try to beat my score. And so this will uh, motivate me to stay in shape while we're doing the big Adam LZ project over the next couple of months. Uh, and then uh, also try to beat all you schlubs in, uh, in, a, in a, a shoulder press contest. So let's see if this is even possible. Right hand on the handle. And then left on this end here. Oh yeah, that's the little joke. So we're gonna do a shoulder press competition. Let's see how many we can do. I'm gonna have to figure out a better solution for my uh, power core so it doesn't fall off on me. I'm not gonna start training until then. So we'll set a baseline November 13th, and then December 1st, I'll see if I've made any improvements by doing 10 an hour every day from November 13th I'm gonna start November 13th is when I'm gonna set the baseline because that's when we start the Adam LZ project. The person who gets the best score gets an on-wall solution. Full, full on-wall solution to upgrade you from your 1122. So every time I get into this 1122, it gives me such nostalgia you know this is the thing this is the pressure washer that started the whole darn thing for me you know I was selling some t-shirts but really this was the first product an obsessed garage has done and it's been a while since I've opened one up and went and I, I physically went into the warehouse and put together the different packages the basic advance and ultimate and I was just thinking while I was pulling these packages together how many iterations how many of these things shipped out and you know were broken in shipping and we tried 57 different types of boxing and uh and originally i was drop shipping these and now we stock and ship them i just think about how far we've come and how simple this now seems for us uh, but those of you who have been following a long time any of you who bought this thing early on um, it's uh, we've come a long way in our simplification of packages and and then the improvement on things like the OG spec gun or the Prima fittings the new Mosmatic fittings shoot this type of fitting didn't exist uh, those of you who remember back in the old days we had to do a couple of different fittings a twist and seal plug screwed into a coupler uh, and they didn't make it in stainless so we had to do it in in different parts and pieces uh, but the reason I'm making this video, one to kind of reintroduce you to this, this is still, I believe, to be the best portable pressure washer on the planet for washing cars, taking care of stuff around the house. Uh, and then I'm putting the best accessories together in the world. Uh, when I started this, most of these accessories didn't exist. Uh, and I've been fighting for this for a really, really long time. But this guy, uh, the main reason why I'm doing this, and so November 17th to December 1st, they've never done this before. Uh, I've never done this before, uh, but they're running a promotion and I bought a boatload of them because uh, I know that a lot of people are going to buy this. This will push over the edge. Uh, the pricing, normal pricing on this is $1,422. That's the MAP retail pricing. And they're going to sell MAP retail pricing at, what was it, $1,295? Uh, so I've never had them mark 10 cents off of the darn thing. Uh, so this is the first time ever. So what I'm going to do, this, uh, this is a brand new one. I haven't opened on up in a really long time. We have our own barcode scanning. If you haven't watched our, our video on Deposco uh, and our transition and our evolution of where we've gone with software, maybe make sure to go check that out. Uh, but we now receive these right off the container from Germany, from our friends at Dirt Killer, who is our US importer. And uh, we now receive them at Curated Manufacturing, which is my other building. And then my people, my dad and his people, box these up and make them look beautiful like this. So we don't have damage issues and things like that because they're boxed really well. So I'm interested to see how it looks. It's funny, in the beginning, I was a part of every decision, every square inch of this, and now, um, you know, I have this whole team to make this thing work. So, um, anyway, we're gonna unbox this thing and, and, and kind of put it together and talk to you about the different, different options here. You know, it's funny, I, I usually carry this knife around. This is my, um, this is my Chris Reeve. 
And then we did, this has got me in all kinds of trouble with uh, knife, knife nerds. Uh, I'm a pressure washer nerd, so I don't mean that as an insult, but knife aficionados. And uh, we did this as a, as a tchotchke item. This is a Gerber knife uh, with a little OG hex on it in an you know, OG type color. And we did this as a knife on our store because we need to sell a bunch of high margin things. Uh, this isn't a high margin thing, but we're selling lanyards and key tags and wash tags and t-shirts and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, Bryce said, hey, I got Gerber. They're the only, the only company that would work with us to make a, a, a private logo or private label knife. And uh, this has become my darn favorite knife. It's a $200 knife, you know, where this is a, I think these are seven or $800 now, but this $200 knife is my favorite unboxing knife that I own. And uh, I just find it ironic. People give me a real hard time about that. It's not, you know, I, I, I mean, this isn't my choice of knife. This is. Uh, but uh, this thing is so darn nice, I don't want to be opening boxes with it. Uh, and so we, we do have that in the store, and I get that, you know, I would be selling Chris Reeve. They told us it was a seven-year wait. So these come double-boxed with uh, and Krenzla and then us. We've been working for years and years and years to figure out what's the best way to box this, what's the best way to ship it. This in the box weighs something like 90, 95 pounds, something like that. So we have some pretty significant weights to deal with when shipping this via UPS and getting it out to people's doors. I wanna say us personally, I mean, we probably sold about 10,000 of them, you know, probably approaching that. And, um, and so we have lots of experience in figuring out how to get it to people. But I will tell you, when this thing shows up at your door, I wish people would send me the ring doorbell videos of what their face looks like when you bought a pressure washer and you're thinking, you know, this is cool. Especially if you bought a, you know, a cheap one from a big box store and then you got this thing. I'd love to see people's faces when they try to lift this up off of their, their door sill. It is pretty nuts. So this guy here, the reason I'm unboxing this is this is going to be my sidekick for the next two months. Uh, I'm doing the Adam LZ project in down in Mims, Florida at the at LZ compound. And um, just to get reacquainted with the uh, thing that got me started, I came up with this cockamamie scheme where I'm gonna just tote this thing every room I go to, this is gonna go with me. And I'm gonna issue a challenge. I'm gonna show you that challenge here in a minute. I wanna make sure that we could even do it. But I'm gonna have a, uh, an 1122 challenge for the Facebook group. You know, my new svelte look here, uh, I've got an idea for us to try to keep, keep me moving forward, keep me in shape. So now the way that they're boxed, we actually go in, get these from Germany. They have to have a UL approved power cord. So that has to be installed. And I think they do that in Germany now, but originally they didn't. And then we actually put some additional paper in put this, you know, extra foam, and then we actually tie everything down uh, so that way it doesn't, uh, doesn't shift around because we used to get cracked cases and you know, different problems. Not to say that it can't get to people uh, and it will be with, you know, with UPS dropping it off of a 10-story building, uh, but generally speaking now, we have really good success with getting them to people intact. But it's been a long time since I've unboxed one of these, and this, every time I do it, this is how I know a product, even this is my very first product, this is how I know that it's still great. When I get excited to open it, and you know, my whole life is just unboxing crap, you know, I know that it's something that's pretty sweet. So these may come in handy, not for washing cars, but you can use this around the house. Uh, and so the Krenzler gun and Krenzler knot wands you generally keep and put somewhere aside. Um, I don't do any pressure washing at my house. I hire a company to come do it uh, because I, I feel like you need a gas pressure washer. But this guy here is the key. This is a Vario nozzle or um, nozzle that, you know, it's basically at zero degrees that has a little ball bearing that spins around. Uh, and so this will help you clean, you know, concrete and algae and things like that a little bit better. Uh, and then this is the normal, you know, fan type nozzle. These, uh, these are 4.2 orifice stock, I believe. 
and at least they've always been 4.2 uh, and so I'll show you in a minute we supply with a 4.5 nozzle on the uh, for the grunt suppressor wash that's the safest version so these come with you're going to want to keep them but imagine in the beginning if you guys go back and watch some of the old Maddie videos First of all, it didn't have this quick connection here, so I, I had my own connection on it. Um, but when we when we did this, and so imagine old Matty washing his GT3 with this sucker. You know, it's like you know this is the stupidest thing ever. And then we had a uh, it didn't have this type of connection, but we had screwed on some some M22 brass fittings, and then I had a bunch of adapters on my foam cannon, so that way I could at least get it somewhat short. Uh, but I was uh, I was strolling out my uh, so I had to pull out the hose. I had to pull out my CR spotless and all the different hoses and stuff I had set up. It was a big ordeal putting this together. And then the fitting, I'll show you in a minute, the fittings on the end of the hose, I had like seven, seven and a half inches of, of connections or different connection points uh, in order to get it connected to the M22 because those fittings, a lot of those fittings didn't exist. But the reason why you want this is if you're cleaning, you know, the side of a house, you're cleaning, you know, the ground, you want to have this long wand, but for washing a car, you want something that's more appropriate for that particular application. So let's get this sucker out, all 80 pounds of it. This aside, you do get a manual. Manuals are for babies. This is online as well, so you can get this. Uh, you're gonna change the oil at 50 hours, which will probably be my original 1122 that I bought in like 2011. Uh, I didn't change the oil on it. We could probably go find the video until like maybe 2017. <laughs> so um, I didn't change the oil on it for many, many years. God, God damn, this thing's freaking tank. So we have a little bit of assembly to do. We want to put the power cord holder, power power cord holder, as well as the handle for the hose reel. So we have to put these on. These are another thing. Like these things used to come on the machine, and they would get broken in shipping all the time. Set that aside. Put this garbage out of the way. Power cord has also changed over the years, which I don't think it's been changed for the better, but the way that they put it together, it does function well. So the original power cord, uh, the original GFCI was a uh, the GFCI was a was a plug. The disadvantage to that is sometimes if you didn't have room, you couldn't fit it. Uh, and so we made this transition, or they made this transition to having the little whip on the end. That way, you could plug it into an outlet that you know didn't have a lot of room. So a bit more functional. I like the original design better, but it's uh, you know there's there's some trade-offs either way you go. And I think there's less potential trade-offs with this type of connection. Okay, so let's put our power cord holder on. Some people leave this in, I take it out, but there is a little piece of foam in here I take out as well. And then this guy, this is your first soap injection. So in order to get soap injection, you have to drop the pressure down to 500 uh, PSI or below. Uh, the way you would do that is through orifice or like a soap nozzle. Um, but what I do on this, you can keep it if you want, but I'm never gonna use soap injection. So I just pull, pull that off. These all have been tested in Germany. So you will find some water in the pump at times. Uh, we'll kind of throw this aside, keep it with our manual, but there's no reason to keep that on. The other thing you'll take off is the cap for your gauge. This you don't need to keep. All right, so this guy, hold on a second. So your holder goes here, and I think I need 
little Phillips. You can tell this is a professional unit because they don't give you, it's actually Torx. They don't give that to you in the box. They assume that you're uh, not a baby. So we need a Phillips and we need a, it looks like a T15, T20, PH2 and a T20. I don't know why that gives me satisfaction knowing that they know we're not babies, so they don't give us a T15 in the uh, little junk secret key, you know? The secret keys that are in the uh, drawers of many um, weak men in America. You know, they keep the secret keys thinking they need them. Yeah, the Ikea Allen keys for the the weak, weak, weak men of the world. No insulting, I'm not insulting. The maybe not so tool centric men of the world, let's say that. This is a new leaf, I'm turning over a new leaf here. That's nice, you don't need to torque it too much. And then we take this guy here and the handle goes in place like so. So this is the only significant assembly you need to do. A couple of simple things. Oops, speaking of weak men. And we have our 1122 with our handle that goes in and out. And we have it set up here. Now, what I like to do is wrap the power cord up nicely. So we'll pull it out here. I think it's a 50 foot cord, or no, I think it's a 35 foot cord. I should know that. I used to know that. See, I'm sold out, Mike. I'm gonna sell out. I don't know all the specs like I used to know. The reason is we've got 2,200 items or something in our store and I commit a lot of stuff to memory, but eventually the hard drive space gets filled. I don't know what's going on with how this is done here. This is no good. I probably should have paid a little more attention when I opened this up. Now I got a freaking mess. Most people would cut this part out. We leave it in. Maybe cut a little bit of it. Jeez. How many freaking knots do I have? Apparently I'm gonna have to do about six more of these to get this unraveled. God dang it. Must have been Americans that wrapped this cord because Germans would never do it this way. So. I'm gonna wrap up my power cord like so. And I do this every time. You know, this is one of those one of those purchases that, especially for me at the time, this was a major risk. And we didn't know squat about these pressure washers. I just knew that, man, I think there's something, something great about this. There could be. There were really aren't any pictures online. There really wasn't any information. But I would take my time to ravel it up nicely. And then use this little stay here. You can use this little extra loop. I don't think, I never really used that very much. And I would set it up like so. So I have my pressure washer nice and clean. And then my power cord will get trained over time as it loosens up and gets more pliable over time. So we have a, also we have this Velcro stay on our on our hose that you can choose to keep or not. Um, I probably won't keep it, but if we keep it on a section of the hose, you can use that. I would generally just let it hang and then slide down into one of the holes like so. Now, in the beginning, I had this connection and this connection would screw, Jesus, onto this connection so long. And so this, this connection point, I wanted to, you know, I have my beautiful pressure washer that cost me, you know, $1,422. And uh, I think, I don't know what it was back in the beginning. So our base package is now 1760, 1758. Uh, and I think when I started it was 1595, like $1,600. So it hasn't gone up substantially. The stuff hasn't gone up as much as inflation has in general. But we would, 
I would screw this thing on and then I would break it down. And then you know, I was talking to Dan at Krenzla and he's like, don't use quick disconnects, it can cause cavitation. I didn't listen to him. I wanted quick disconnects because I wanted to break down my pressure washer and put it away nicely. So I wrapped the cord up like it looks like now, all nice and pretty. And I would put the thing away in my cabinet and you know, I'd flush the water out and all of that. So I always wanted to have the thing looking beautiful. And I'd wipe it down, I'd put wax the thing. And so that's when quick disconnects became, became a thing. Now, when you get your pressure washer, you start freaking out. Uh, we used to get these questions all the time. This is a glycerin gauge and there's an air bubble in there and the air bubble is correct. A lot of people would say, my gauge is broken. There's an air bubble in there. Uh, the, water, the water got in my gauge. No, that's not water. It's a glycerin gauge that helps with vibration. And, uh, and yes, there should be an air bubble in the gauge. Now, you shouldn't have to mess with right out of the box the unloader valve, you're not gonna mess with this. So it should be, it should be completely open or, or closed, however you wanna look at it. This is your pressure switch, pressure, pressure switch. This is where your oil goes in. This is where your oil comes out. And we do sell Krenzel gear oil. It's almost always out of stock. So you need to keep that in mind. Um, you order it ahead of schedule. I change, it, it says in the manual to change the oil at 50 hours and never again. I mean, maybe change it every 50 hours, change it every three or four years, you know, and, and you should be okay. So you have to remember when you're using this pressure washer, so you stand it up in your cabinet, you store it like this, uh, but when you're using the pressure washer, it needs to be in this operation stance. So when I'm turning it on, I wanna make sure that I'm operating it this way because of the way there's no oil pump in here, uh, the plungers, go this way and then there's a plate in there that turns, it's a wobble plate that creates pressure. There's three plungers. Those plungers go in and out with the springs, the valve springs of, for the plungers. Uh, I guess they're not called valve springs, but the springs that uh, load or unload the, the, the plate, they go in and out of that oil bed. And if you have it standing up, the oil is then sitting down in the bottom of the oil chamber and you don't get the prop proper oiling. So you wanna make sure that the pump operates in this mode or in this stance. I don't like how this is kind of popping off on me here, but I would, if it were me and I was gonna be using this all the time, I'd be playing with what's the best way to wrap the power cord. So the other assembly you need to do is we're gonna choose our, or when you purchase the thing, you need to choose your hose size, your inlet hose. And so this is a Continental Frontier hose, not a Continental Home Depot hose, but this is like their industrial quality, industrial grade. I actually make these hoses now. I've been fighting for these for many, many years. When I first created the package, I was using an Ely inlet hose. The reason I was using Ely, it was a poly hose, not my favorite, but they were the only hose company on the planet that was making a six it was six and a half feet, a six and a half foot little whip hose. They made that hose and made it available for sale. And they did that for their, uh, their garden hose reel. And so I was able to buy those from those and then they pulled all, all distribution back home. So they, they only sell on their own website. And so then I had to go find, you know, a Continental Frontier company. So I had uh, a company in California making me this hose. We can never keep it in stock and never get it. We're shipping all the way across the country. In 2019, I finally bought my own crimping machine and we started making our own hoses. The long-term plan is to get stainless ferrules, which don't really exist in this size, uh, but this is a 5 8 inch hose, a 5 inch, 5 8 inch OD, out, outside diameter. You can get it in six and a half feet, 12 feet, 20 feet, 35 feet, 50 feet, uh, 100 feet is what we normally stock. You can always hit us up, support at obsessedgarage.com. I can make this whatever you need it to be now. And whatever custom length is is, is interesting or what, what you think you might need. And so in order to set up, let's just get the six and a half footer opened up here. In order to get water into your pressure washer, you could also just connect your garden hose to it. But in order to do this efficiently, you would take a coupler, which is this, and a plug. So you would take here, sorry my power cord's in the way here, should have done this beforehand, but I take a 
plug and I screw it into the inlet of the pressure washer right here. This is from MTM. And then I take my inlet hose and I'm gonna put a coupler on the end of my inlet hose so that I can quickly connect, disconnect, reconnect, however you wanna say it, my inlet, my water to the pressure washer. Now, with this fitting, hand tighten. There is an O-ring, garden hose O-rings deflect. So if you torque it down too much, it'll squeeze it out of the way and you'll get leaks. So this is a right at decently hand tightened and you know just check it every time you use the connection same thing on this side i don't want to crush my o-ring but i do want to make a nice solid connection and then the cool thing about this is i can then quickly connect my inlet and i would do the same thing so i would put a plug on this end and i would put a coupler on the end of my hose bib so that way i could quickly connect I will mention to you, and I've said this at least a hundred times on video, maybe more, maybe closer to a thousand. When you're dealing with water under pressure, you're going to be chasing leaks. It's part of the game. Uh, and hopefully if you get good pro quality products and you have well lubricated O-rings, I mean, I don't find a sense the need to lubricate them, but you make sure your O-rings aren't cracked or dry. Uh, you and you get a good system down, you shouldn't have leaking problems. But we're gonna have water coming from 80 PSI coming out of your wall into this thing and then out of this thing, you know, 1400 PSI or so, we're gonna tune it to 1000. So when I have all that water under all that pressure, just know you're gonna end up with some leaks. The most common place where you get surging from a pressure washer is in the inlet side. You wanna make sure you don't have any leaks on, on these, these connections. And whenever you introduce quick disconnects, you introduce the possibility of leaks. You shouldn't need Teflon tape on these. You can tape them if you find necessary, uh, but the Teflon tape is not necessary anytime there's an O-ring, so you, sh you shouldn't need to tape it. So you can choose your inlet length and that adds like 10 bucks per length, right? A six and a half foot hose is 20 bucks and 30 bucks and 40 bucks for a, a 20 footer. If you need something longer, again, we can make, make you whatever you need. So that's our inlet connection. That's the only connection that I need to screw into the machine. And then the second connection that I need to screw in. So really I had a couple of steps, wrap up my power cord, put my power cord stay on, put my hose reel, whatever crank on, uh, and then put a connection on the outlet of the pressure washer. Now, if there's ever water leaking out of here, it's because you tore your green O-ring. There's a green O-ring on the inside of this M22 connection. You don't need any tape on this connection. In fact, if you use tape, it could be, end up being problematic. These didn't exist. This size didn't exist. Uh, in stainless or brass. Then eventually we had it, you know, started companies started making it in brass. And then eventually now we have, you know, Swiss fittings and, you know, all kinds of awesome options. This is a, uh, we'll talk about the accessories here in a second, but this is a Chinese made um, MTM, which is, which is fine, built to MTM spec. So this fitting here, again, you shouldn't need to torque this down. We've actually designed not this one this one's pretty close uh, but the mtm one is designed specific or sorry the mosmatic one is designed specifically for this but in the beginning when i had made this connection to my gun you know and we'll actually kind of connect it to this gun here so this is a darn magic or modern marvel if we connect to the og spec version i uh when i started this i really wanted a swivel because this quarter inch hose is not super pliable uh, and I found it was getting bound up all the time. And so after I figured out quick disconnects, then I wanted to add a swivel and we were converting BSPP or no, uh, G type threads to BSP and then from BSP to N uh, to G H no, to uh, NPT in order to get, you know, all these connections. And so this connection here used to be with this part was like, like 12 or 13 inches long. I wish I could, I could probably go find on Google Drive some of the old pictures of my MTM M407 with a Mosmatic swivel and then adapters on both sides of it to make it work. And now with the OG spec gun, we're down to, you know, basically an inch of 
extra. And I'm telling you, in the beginning, it wasn't like this. There was all kinds of bulk and trying to figure this stuff out, and a lot of it didn't exist. So it's been a long, long fight to, uh, to make this stuff available and make it, make it work. And yours truly has been the one fighting for all of us. Mainly fighting for me, and then I get to then impart that, that, that information on you. So this connection here, this M22 connection doesn't need, and, and in fact, could be problematic if you tape it. Again, if there's an O-ring, you generally don't need tape. Uh, this, over time, will start to get uh, corroded, and uh, because you're connecting brass to stainless, and it will kind of lock in place which can become problematic if you need to take it off in the future, but hopefully you won't need to take it off anytime soon. Uh, if you do, you're gonna have to learn how to use tools you know, in order to get it off and have to spray some PB Blast or something like that. And so that's our connection and we connect to all, all of our fittings. So now when we sell this package, there's three different ways you can buy it. We've made it very, very simple for people. I've, I've made it complicated and then simple and then complicated and simple and now it's complicated. I built a configurator years ago, which caused all kinds of website crashes and problems. Problems. Uh, but now we have a really simple setup where you can buy a solution. So you can buy the full Obsessed Garage solution, which is a, um, a full working package from start to finish. So the first thing you're going to select, you go to the Krenz 1122, you select the package, and you then select your hose length. Do you want six and a half? Do you want a, a, um, a 12 or a 20? If you want something different, you'll have to email support and I'll have to custom make it for you. Then you select your accessory package. So we have a basic, advanced, and ultimate. It's about $200 difference per upgrade. And so the base package includes, and, and we used to have a much, much lower end base. Now this higher end base package costs about the same as the lower end base. We've been able to reduce costs on things over time by me making my own hoses and stuff like that. Uh, but this is the MTM M407 with the swivel. Uh, and then we're actually installing a plug. Uh, so we install the stuff and set all this stuff at, uh, up at Curated Manufacturing, which is my other company, my other building up the street. This has all stainless hardware. Uh, this gun, uh, long story short, this gun exists because I could not get these guns in stock. And I worked with my friend uh, Rob and Mike Grindle, who are no longer with MTM, but um, I worked with them and I told them exactly what I wanted them to make. And they made this. Uh, and you've seen this gun, you know, all over the place, everywhere. Uh, but this was my idea, and that I wanted the MTM SG28, which was the gun I was using at the time. I wanted to have an integrated swivel or a swivel built into the neck, uh, and I wanted it to have all stainless internals. So this does have some advantages, and it's all stainless, uh, which you know has a stainless little, you know, little nipple here, which makes it look nice. We put a quarter-inch plug on this. These are all taped, torqued. All of the flats are lined up, you know, that's an OG uh, original. Uh, and then we have our 20 inch, uh, 20 inch, 20 degree bent wand uh, from Mosmatic. This is my original, the original Mosmatic wand uh, that I discovered by accident. Uh, I actually threw this in my cart when I was ordering something else from a uh, pressure washer supply company. And there's about 150 different ways to order this wand. They have all different types of fittings. I got lucky and I didn't even know. I just ordered the right one. For many, many years, as everybody tried to copy and get a better deal, um, many, 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 many people bought the wrong wand with the wrong fittings and it didn't, didn't work. And then they'd always call me complaining. So why didn't you buy it from me? Well, I was trying to save 10 bucks. So this is the base gun package. It comes with brass fittings. So this package is, what, $17.56, depending on the hose you choose, give or take 20 bucks. Uh, and so it's gonna be, what, 120, 130 bucks off, something like that. Uh, so the base package is gonna drop to, you know, roughly, what, 1600 and change, uh, because we're, you know, running a promo on the, on the gun. We provide it with four and a half size nozzles, zero degree, 15 degree, 15 is always yellow, um, 25 degree, which is always green, and then 40 degree, which is the main main um, main nozzle you're going to use most to wash your car. We use 4.5 as the size because that gets us right at 980-ish, 975-ish psi, so right around 1,000 psi out of the pressure washer. 
So with a 4.5 nozzle, you're gonna get right at two gallons a minute, you know, 1. Yeah, 1.95-ish gallons a minute, depending on when they built the machine and how accurate the German tech was at the time. Uh, but the, the flow of this machine with a 4.5 nozzle is, I believe, the perfect combination to wash a car. We also provide a couple of O-rings, uh, and the base package includes the original, in order for us to help you save some money, this is the original MTM foam cannon, which, you know, it doesn't, it isn't, the, isn't the best foam cannon in the world. It functions extremely well, isn't the prettiest foam cannon in the world. It does still tip over, you know, if it's, you know, not fully, and if it's not loaded with, uh, with product. But we tape, torque, set up our foam cannons with the proper plug. Then the advanced package includes the new Prima fittings from MTM. So these are American-made uh, Prima fittings uh, that, uh, that MTM has come out with, which are actually really smooth, really nice. It still includes the original wand, not the OG spec version, uh, but you'll notice when you get these, the fittings are a little bit better. And this is the original Mosmatic gun with the, uh, the integrated swivel. It's just but the swivel is on the outside of the handle versus the, the OG spec version. And then includes all stainless fittings, so it includes stainless garden hose fittings, which I just put on, on, the, on the pressure washer there. And then we've just moved to uh, the Griot's foam cannons, and so the Griot foam cannon comes with a Prima a quarter inch plug taped and torqued, ready to go uh, for you to use and um, uh, connect to, to, your, to your pressure washer. So the, you know, the, the purpose of having the short gun potential is so I can swap back and forth between foam cannon and long wand. And of course, I put my nozzle tip so I can slip, switch back and forth as well. And then the ultimate version, which is, what is it? It's a $220 more. So it's 200 bucks to go from ultimate. So this is a 1760, roughly 1960, and this is 20, 2,075 bucks with the six and, a half foot, uh, six and a half foot hose. But this includes the full Matt Mormon designed uh, OG spec uh, with the swivel that's integrated. You can see the difference in bulk you know, it takes some bulk off of the uh, off of the the, the outlet or the, and the inlet uh, swivel. Uh, it also includes the you know integrated plug on the wand, the uh, the externally connected or external uh, quarter inch uh, quick disconnect, or the nozzle is fully self-contained as a standalone piece. The ultimate package comes with a with a four and a half size nozzle, that's the size of the hole, uh, so we still get the same pressure, uh, but it comes with a 25 degree and a 40 degree. Uh, and it also includes the Mosmatic quick disconnects. So these are Swiss made. You can even hear the difference in how this, this connection is made. Super, super solid. I don't think the lifespan, when I'm always talking about this all the time, like a, a quick disconnect is uh, like a tire, it's a wear and tear item. These Mosmatics are pretty bulletproof, but we still give you O-rings, in case an O-ring fails, keep these. Uh, and then uh, this one comes with the magical Matt Mormon design. I picked the number of threads on this sucker, uh, uh, T304 stainless Mosmatic coupler that goes on the outlet of the pressure washer. So what I'm planning to do, we're gonna test something out here right now, but what I'm planning to do, this is my sidekick. And so I'm probably gonna wrap this thing back up. This pressure washer is coming everywhere with me over the next couple of months to remind you that the greatest pressure washer of all time is, uh, is on sale. It'll probably never go on sale again. And uh, I want people to experience this. You know, if, you, if you're not at the gateway yet to get a an on-wall solution like the 1322 and you haven't gotten to that point or you're not going to stay at your house for a really long time this is the best pressure washing experience on the planet this is the Porsche of pressure washers this is what everybody should want it's I don't think unattainable at starting at 1700 bucks I'm gonna be around 1600 bucks on, on the promotion uh, the promotion again starts November 17th uh, and will run through December 1st uh, but I think that this sucker is 
I mean, this thing has changed my life, both in changing the user experience of how I wash a car, uh, and then created a pursuit in me that I didn't think was possible. Uh, and so what I wanna do in my new, uh, in my new uh, fitness life, I wanna issue a challenge. We're gonna test this out here. And I wanna see if I can push press or shoulder press this thing. And so at Adam LZ is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set my alarm and every hour on the hour, I'm gonna do 10, we'll see if I can even do one. Let's see, <laughs> we should put the scale on this thing. I think it's 80 pounds. But the plan I'm gonna set, uh, I'll set the baseline on November 13th. So I'm gonna set a baseline and we're gonna make a post in the Facebook group and everybody with 1122s or anybody who gets an 1122, you can try to beat my score. And so this will uh, motivate me to stay in shape while we're doing the big Adam LZ project over the next couple of months. Uh, and then uh, also try to beat all you schlubs in, uh, in, a, in a, a shoulder press contest. So let's see if this is even possible. I'm thinking right hand on the handle and then left on this handle here. Oh yeah, that's no joke. So we're gonna do a shoulder press competition and see how many we can do. <laughs> I like it, I like it. I'm gonna have to figure out a better solution for my uh, power core so it doesn't fall off on me. So we'll do, we'll start that. I'm not gonna start training until then. So we'll set a baseline November 13th and then December 1st, I'll see if I've made any improvements by doing 10 an hour every day from November 13th. I'm gonna start November 13th is when I'm gonna set the baseline because that's when we start the Adam LZ project. We're gonna do that. We'll make it a fun little game and see, see who can win. I tell you what, if somebody can beat me, I guess I can't send you 1122 because you already have one. Person that gets the best score gets an on-wall solution. Full, full on-wall solution. To upgrade you from your 1122. Yeah, you gotta record it for sure, yeah. So if you're gonna set a time, if you're gonna set a score, then, and you're not allowed, we'll, we'll come up with all kinds of rules. I need to test out what the best way to do it is. Uh, but this little bro is gonna be my sidekick and be carrying this thing around everywhere I go. Uh, and then, uh, and then we'll be doing, uh, you know, 10 shoulder presses every hour for several months or several weeks. And then we'll see if I improve my, my baseline score. I think it's probably going to be a decent number. I also have to decide, we'll set the rules. Are you allowed to dip, dip and drive, or does it have to be strict? So we'll see. Anyway, that's the 1122 promo starts on November 17th. Our challenge starts on November 13th in order to set us up for the promo. I think this is the best pressure washer in the world. I know it is. I don't think. Thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. This is going to be a lot of fun. We'll see you soon.